So it is gift giving season, folks. Sometimes the best gifts are ones that come from the heart and, Nick Koser, from yeah. the hands. Absolutely. We've got uh, you ladies in here this morning, and you guys uh, do your fair share of woodworking, right? Mm -hmm. We do. We are woodworkers. <laughs> not, not that. This is Shannon and Misty from Nailed It DIY Studio in Fort Mill, and uh, they have brought in some of the goodies that people make in the studio. This is one of those things I would imagine I was asking if you're busy this time of year. I'm sure you are, because everyone loves to come in and make gifts for people, right? Not only Absolutely. for themselves this, uh, right now. I think it means a little bit more when people come in and make it themselves. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really easy to go to a store and buy something and you see something, but when you can come in and really customize it, and that's what we help people do at the studio, is not just take something that's generic, but we can customize it to be your... Like, like your family name or your friend, or Correct. however it is that's personal and for you. And just to yeah. say that you made it. Yes, and they look <laughs> store-bought. So walk us through. I know you're going to put us sure. to work a little bit. You brought examples of some of the things that people can make. Sure. So tell, walk us through, if you would, first what you brought, and then you can have us kind of try, and you can see if Nick and I can do it anyway. Right? Yeah. I, we brought yeah. some simple stuff. We can stuff. teach anything. Yeah. 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 We're really good at teaching. Yeah. Um, but we talked, we talked about serving trays, and we thought that was a really great thing to bring into a lot of our projects. Oh, cool. And we can take any piece of wood and simply add handles. So oh, wow. Look at that. it really helps us to say, you can design whatever you want on that wood, whether you're using chalkboard or you know chalkboard paint or a design that represents your family. We just simply add handles, and you suddenly have a serving tray. Um, this is a great example of that. I think these round ones look superior when you put wine and cheese on these, and they're yeah. laying on a table. What a great way to showcase! And great to have on your coffee table. Great host gift. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's over. true. And then it mm -hmm. displays so beautifully too when you're not it using it. Yeah. And so these are really great in our studio. We use. Just without the handles, you can have them up on the wall. They're uh -huh. so beautiful. Adding handle becomes a tray. So yeah. a lot of different variation uses. And here, here recently, within the last couple of years, I feel like wood has become a big uh, kind of hot thing to give and, and sell, right? Absolutely. It's still trending. It's very, it's, it, it looks so good in your home. It just brings such a warmth yeah. to mm -hmm. it. It's just so different than plastic or any of those other store bought materials. Yeah. So Absolutely. it's a great way to do it. All right, so, so let's do some woodwork here. Right, well, let's do work. Girls and boys. Yes. All right. All right. So, I'm gonna yeah, let's start, start with, with here. I'm gonna just start it. you off with just showing you a quick little technique drill. called washing. Okay. And where you just take a little bit of paint and you're gonna rub it on you. Use it on this side so we can get it okay. on the on the yeah. You use more muscle than paint. So you're literally, instead of painting, you you're going to push it in. So oh. just push it into the wood and rub Get all the way in. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I know, it's a little hard, but that's literally all you're doing for a wash technique. And you're going to rub that all over. And if you the do finish. this, you get this kind of cool, distressed exactly. look that it you guys have going here. It almost looks stained. Which is great because it lets you make mistakes, right? Like there's no such thing as a mistake because it all kind of is supposed to look sort of here and there anyway. And if you do feel like you got heavy handed or not enough, it's easy enough to just to take a little bit of sandpaper sand and oh. sand it off and give it even more rustic look. Yeah, yeah. I the like it. It's thing. almost like you can Nicely take done, that, yeah, that washed look. Good look job. How, look Paige. how well you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, look at that. Imagine in television. Too. All right, let's see if Nick has what it takes also. Uh, okay, Nick, can you handle this? So yeah, this is so. a drill, Nick. Yeah, go with uh, drill. Uh, okay. um, we're not done stenciling, but we're going to go over here so that Nick can just show you guys a little bit about handing the handles. So simply screwing your handles. We've already pilot hold. That so that it didn't oh, split the wood. That. Okay, here we go. And right. those look like Nick doesn't have goggles on. I feel like this is just uh -oh. so dangerous. Oh, Nick, nicely done. Don't worry, I never wear goggles when I do stuff like this. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Safety first here at Nail the DIY. Nail the DIY, you will, right? Yeah. You can use all these tools in studio, right? Nice. Yeah, we have nail guns, we have screwdrivers. I mean, I'm so this enough. is our um, stencil that we, you know, designed for you guys. So you would just simply take your paint, and you can do this, Paige. You're just going to add the color. I, I know. Like the tone there. Even to, you can I'm do like, this. I'm like, this is even for you. Let's quickly have the. So, so, just just to to okay. so like I said, when we come to the studio, when you come to Nailed It, just go online, check out our website, NailedItDIY.com. It'll give you guys some ideas for design, for yeah. wood, for different bases that you can choose, Love and all it. the different things we can walk you through. Um, but Don't yeah, mind so her, Nick. She's just trying to talk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Nick, that's cool. Keep drawing. That's cool. I mean, we want you to finish, This is yeah. super cool. And then you peel it off, and you have something that looks like that, where Nick is holding up right there. That's this, this, is what I, look. this is Help what I interrupted the whole interview for right here. <laughs> look, look how perfect it is. Missy and uh, Shannon from DIY Studio in Fort Mill. Thank you so much for coming in. Happy holidays to you guys. Oh, thank you. Guys you. Studio. See you. Okay. Okay. Have a good day. Just a sec. If there'll be snow, but have a